We got all the events happening around. You know, Arby's has the meats. We've got the plans. That's right. Thanks to our sponsors, your Metro Detroit Chevy dealers. Our buddy Rich Rice, the founder of event planning company Detroit by Design, is back with us to tell us more. Hey, Rich. Good morning. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. good. All good. right. So let's start with you telling us about a festival that's got everyone buzzing. Oh, there it is. Uh, <laughs> Ypsilanti. It's a, they have a first Friday that they do. It's a really nice event to kind of bring people downtown and get them to support the local artists and the local businesses. And this one is the Festival of the Honeybee. Um, so it's kind of a tongue-in-cheek theme that they're going to be carrying across with uh, art and um, different demonstrations. But they're also bringing a guy from Detroit down, a, a friend of mine, Timothy Paul, who does a program called um, Detroit Hive. And he's going to talk to people a little bit about, about the pollinators and what you can do to kind of support, to support the honeybee. And also the new mayor of uh, Ypsilanti, Beth Bashir, is going to be at this one. Okay. Um, so this is a free program and the whole city is kind of all um, pitches in for First Friday and, and they all provide programming for the community. Cool. So. And it's all happening tomorrow downtown Ipsy starting at 4 p.m. Admission is free and we had Detroit Hives on the show and we did a piece on them. It's incredible what they're doing. Yeah, really cool yeah. stuff. So yeah. one of Detroit's more <laughs> underground festivals is happening this weekend. If you can, you know, being that it's underground, can you scroll the bean? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> This is, this is really kind of like old, uh, a little bit of old Detroit here, old Cass Corridor, a really, really kind of funky bohemian festival. There's a, um, a unique little uh, square of Cass Corridor between like 2nd and 3rd and 4th and Hancock where there's a series of, um, of alleys in the center of it. Um, so it really kind of gives it a, uh, its own special character, this festival. It's been going on for a long time. A lot of musicians have come out of this. It's called the uh, Dally in the, the Alley, right? There you go, the Dally in the Alley. Tacos, uh, look! The Dally. This was kind of the old, before, before the air was rebranded to Midtown, you got the Dally in the Alley. A cast quarter festival. So there's like three stages of music, all kinds of local artists and vendors and all those usual suspects fun, through fun, kind fun. of like a bohemian lens, I guess. Hey, okay. okay. why not? All right, Food so trucks, music, what else could you ask for? I'm confused. Now, now is Midtown and New Center this is considered the same or are they separate because no. they're ones? So Michael Salaka used to run New Center Council. He, he pulled back from that, and Sue Mosey ended up kind of taking over that area with her midtown. She has a little bit also of Woodbridge as well. Okay. So in, in the city, this is, this is too much information, but there are separate districts in the city, and then there's kind of organized local areas where community development organizations find some commonality to support. Okay. So there I have it. There's a science to it, people. With summer winding down, we have plenty of fall events to look forward to, and we hear there's one this weekend that promises to get the season started off right. Are you hearing this buzz at home, Jason? This is a buzz, buzz. Hey, <laughs> where you're from, right, Northville? Such a cute little downtown. I love these downtown festivals for yeah. summer, and I think that this is their first effort uh, they're doing on this one. It's a food and wine festival. They're bringing together a bunch of local and uh, regional chefs, along with um, regional and national wines, and they're gonna uh, set it up all along that cute little Main Street mm -hmm. um, city center there. It's 55 bucks a, a ticket here. It looks like they're off to a good start. They sold all, all their VIP tickets, wow. but you can still get general admission tickets online. And uh, they're going to be paying this forward to some local charities. That's so, awesome. Nice event to attend. Very lovely. It's going to be some world-renowned chefs there. It's going to be fancy and good, I can tell. There a big is. trend yeah. in the food world is minimizing food waste. And there's a festival happening that inspires you to do just that. What's going on, Rich? Yeah, this is interesting. Uh, you know, Eastern Market is is really kind of our, our city center hub for everything in our in our food system. And you hear so much about some of the problems that we have uh, with our food system. And what can you do at home to be a little bit more eco friendly? Uh, so there's going to be all kinds of kind of demonstrations and tastings and classes here where you can learn what to do with your food waste, do a little composting, and use it for your garden. Um, and there's a Detroit Food Policy Organization that's putting on uh, kind of a an awards um, program with this one, kind of honoring some local people that are, are helping to um, lift up our food system a little bit locally. So all kinds of different things going on. Now this, is an, this event's free, but this is one of these events you're seeing these days where you need to register at Eventbrite to make sure that you can get in. Yeah, Eventbrite? Cool. There you go. So yeah. check, check this one, find this one on Eventbrite, reserve your tickets and go down to Shed 5 and it should be a fun event. All right. Always fun at Eastern Market. Thanks, Thanks Rich. Rich.
You can check out what's happening around the D by going to clickondetroit.com and clicking on the In the D section.